Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying today to show you how to draw a section. Uh, this video is for my architecture and AutoCAD student. It's a kind of elementary video to uh, show how to draw a section. In order to do so, the first step probably you need to pr have uh, both the ground floor and, in my case, the roof uh, prepared. The most important thing is to start and actually decide what kind of levels that the ground floor for example is zero here and uh, the roof four while the parapet here is five the second step you need to decide where is the section line and the section line must be copied you have to prepare it in the ground floor and then copy it to the roof and they have to be identical and that means they are located in the same place exactly and as we see in the ground floor that's our wall indicated by yellow and I turn off the door here layer and you see that green dashed line just representing the roof above us which is this technically so let's start uh, it's a good idea to start drawing the the section first and then you jump up later to draw the elevations so first draw the sections that's the general rule of thumb so I will go to have a line and I'm going to draw like a ground level then think of whatever intersected point between the section line which is AA in our case and anything vertical like the walls here and that wall here have to be drawn and the rest which or should show as elevation like this partition for example so that will be one line while those two should shown in a thicker and a different layer technically which represent walls anyway I will start drawing first walls so first thing is to draw the walls that you actually cutting don't draw doors and elevations or partition anything that's shown in the elevation leave it to the end first draw the structural thing so I will take the first intersection between this uh, section A and this wall so those two lines to go down probably you need to make ortho and the perpendicular from the OSNAP activated so just draw one line and then copy that line like this I will just pretend for the time being that there is no window just let me first have the full structure thing and then we're gonna see and I'm gonna show you how to draw on cut windows in it anyway so that's basically the ground floor finish and the th the three walls I'll just take um, I'll just take uh, point two sorry it's 200 the thickness of the slab or the ground like this and so this point specifically will be zero zero so the roof are located on four so I will offset those two up by four so I'll have offset four thousand and then I'm gonna offset that up and the lower one up two so if I have DLI or dimension and I measure this point to this point that goes for four meter which is exactly from floor finish of the roof to the floor finish of the ground which is right and those two lines will represent the thickness of the higher slab just normally we should go straight forward like this and put the baluster on one meter above this point but I'll just have this to be slightly more advanced advantage advanced oh my god and uh, just to put this the roof different from the shape of the ground floor so the right thing is to take a copy of this 
like that and put it exactly yeah so the section line CAA here is actually going to show us where are we cutting in the higher level or the roof so just take those two lines again to the you don't take them to the ground floor in this case they are in the roof so you take this one here and also you repeat this step one two here and one and two here so technically you have two walls on the ground floor sorry on the roof which is the pivot so technically I have to trim TR and get rid of those three which are only existed in the ground floor while those two things are actually stopping or created only in roof and stopping one meter offset 1000 above the four here like that I'm gonna trim TR and I'm going to cut out those and TR again space space so those are actually the parapets that I have which is one meter above the four and it's also away from the face of the wall as the hidden line shows here so you see the roof is bigger than the ground floor in its area now I'll just uh, draw a line here and probably another line here because technically the slab is actually sorry the wall is actually sitting fully on the slab so try to make this relationship that's the right way to draw it don't do don't do that that's so wrong don't do that that's both wrong is the wall gonna fall down so the wall needs something to sit on this slab so that's the right way to draw it and in order to do the same thing on the other side I'm just trimming just an easy so that's basically the outer line of the cut geometry which is actually meant here the walls and the slabs vertical and horizontal elements so let me first finish the roof so technically you cut those two things in the roof and you cut those two lines that represent the parapet in the roof but you're still seeing this parapet as an elevation so it would be a good idea to I don't know if you start up a layer and you call it uh, elevation for example uh, or you just draw it in any available uh, any available other layer that you, you, you prefer to use it's just my laptop is going down Uh, it's getting slower so that's the property palette anyway so yeah good for me I have a uh, layer here called elevation I'll just make it current and yes I'm gonna draw this here that line from here from this point to this point it should be located by layer I'll just turn on by layer here so any line I draw it will be directly put in by layer uh, in the elevation layer anyway that's the top that's the roof has been done here so we need now to do the same thing whatever we are going to see here it should be located in a layer called elevation so I'll take the window here all the way down doing the same thing that we've done when we projected when we cut the walls do the same thing for the thing that you didn't cut you are actually seeing them as an elevation so I'll just have those two lines to represent this window and this one line to represent that partition and I will come back at the end to this so this as we say this partition so it shouldn't cut this lab so it should be sitting on this lab like this and the same thing here it should be passing the higher slab or the roof slab so that will do the job like this while that or these two lines represent the window so you should have, have an information enough information about what type of window you have 
but technically I will just offset and have 1000 let's say from the ground like that and another 1200 like this so this is basically the window opening you can just draw a rectangle here like this and then get rid of all those structural line that I drew so that's the, the window for that's the opening for my window it's a good idea to have those two lines taken like this while we are at it so those two lines represent cutting this window that we have so I'll just cut them the same way I did uh, trim again getting rid of those and then I'm going to select those two things and then cut all the things like that so technically I will have this which is the window opening cool so now I have the window opening here and window opening here I, I just can go to the layer property again and I'll go to the door layer sorry the window layer if I have it do I no so I'll just create one and make it current now I will offset this 50 millimeter to represent the window frame like that both I will just put them in a window layer and then that's all depend on what type of window you have so I can just assume that I have one one panel actually fixed which is this and that is already required for it and I'll go another rectangle here and then offsetting this one another 50 down like this so that's the operable part of the window if it's a slide I mean and that's fixed some some of uh, some offices actually prefer to uh, draw like a line that way and um, kind of angled line here as a symbol saying or indicating that this window is a slide and that again some of uh, lots of offices actually just have a text here it just might be too much uh, detail for you to remember and it's a good idea to understand how to just to draw the correct way I'm just too big I'll just scale it down and the F here represent that this is a fixed panel and the small symbol here represent that it's an operable panel uh, the rule here that you have to change this into blocks but I'm trusting that you can do so we did that uh, exercise for blocks in the lectures during the days and uh, I'm not gonna do that it's just uh, feeling a little bit lazy to do so so I'll leave the blocking thing for you and don't ever draw something without changing it into block just a word of advice anyway here to draw again another 50 let's just get of this another 50 here and another 50 here to draw the window on this section then I take rectangle and I'll draw a line here a rectangle here I'm then deleting the structural line and then rectangle here and then another structural line and then I will erase all those and then I can just connect the dots there's lots of different way of showing the windows some offices just and some companies actually accept this just a symbol of window some of them ask you to do like uh, like kind of uh, offset here like let's say 10 to the right and 10 to the left and then they delete this some offices use this uh, lots of uh, 
and lots of different way of showing windows all right I will just keep it with that and by this uh, I will have the jobs done here that's a, a basic way of uh, drawing a section and uh, I think it is more enough better to do like a kind of hatch probably I'm gonna have an, an entire video separated video to do hats in front of you but generally that's more than enough for us for today to know how we do sections and uh, again I'm going to repeat the section when I'm going to explain for you in my next videos how to design the stairs and that will be a good exercise to show you a section and stairs at the same time thank you very much and have a nice night bye